Hi, I'm Amy, and this is my husband, Greg. That's me. I'm Ashlyn, and I'm married to Paul. That's me. And I'm Kyle. I'm Lauren. So, I'm Evan. I'm Jaden. And I'm Brooklyn. I'm Autumn. I'm Jensen. Hi, I'm Madeline. I'm Stevie. And, and we're, we're the Marriott's. Welcome to our large family vlog. Hey guys, hope you're having a great day today. All right, letter board of the day. It's gonna be a little bit different. I want, it says, anyone can find the dirt. Be the one that finds the gold. So I wanted to put anyone can find the dirt in someone, but be the one that finds the gold. There's just a lot of letters. So think about it. You can all find the dirt, right? We can all go outside and find dirt. I can find it right outside here. I can find it on my floor, but only a select few people finds the gold finds the prize, gets to see the good in people, gets to see and gets to have the blessings happen in their life, right? Only select few people to do it. It's the one that actually goes out and does it, right? The person that's panning for gold, they're not gonna do it by sitting at home and talking about all the times that they can go out and how to do it and what they can do and watching videos on it. The only person that actually gets it is the one that goes out and gets it, right? Same thing in your life. We can sit here and talk about what we can do to better our lives and how to make our lives better, how we need to lose that weight, how we need to start eating healthier, how we need to start exercising, how we need to have more time with our kids, how we need to reach out and talk to that person. We can talk all day long about it. But the only person that actually does it physically is the person that gets a result, right? So anybody can find the dirt, but let's find that little one piece of gold, right? To make that blessing in our lives. All right, so, so glad you guys are here today. Today's gonna be a great day. Yesterday I was running, I ran with Jaden all day. <laughs> Drove my car all day, I was like, oh my goodness, I feel for people that travel all the time and have to be in the car. Oh, that would not be a fun thing to have to do every single day. I feel for you, just yesterday. So today I'm home, the house is kind of in disarray because we've been moving and grooving and out and about doing things. So I've got some pickup to do. I'm gonna plan on making some food today because I really like having meals for at least two, three days in the refrigerator so that all I can do is pull them out and just reheat them up for dinner. That just works good for me right now because I am out and about doing a whole lot more. The kids are at the pool. We don't have to come up and make dinner as long as I can just heat it up. So that is my goal today. So. I don't have a list yet of what I'm gonna make, but I will in a few minutes and I can share that in a little bit. So what I'm gonna do first is start cleaning up because that's what I like to do. I like to get my house somewhat set up so that when the kids get up, they can do the rest of the chores and then I will start on food for the day. Does that sound good? All right, so let's do clean up. Then we'll start with food. I gotta do some school today and it's gonna be a great day. So remember, anybody can find that dirt, but be the one that finds the gold. Look in your spouse, look in your kids, look in your coworkers, all those things. Find that little tiny bit of sparkle in their life and focus on that, not on all the dirt. Sound good? Okay, let's go clean.
All right, so you saw what I did this morning. So what I'm doing is I just picked up bathrooms, did a one load of laundry, um, came to the kitchen, kind of picked up, fed the kids breakfast. So what I'm doing is gathering fragments, right? So we had potato soup that we've been eating this week. I'm gonna heat up today and I'm gonna tell the kids this is what we're eating for lunch until it's gone. So that's there. And then I had four containers of vegetable soup. I put that here because I know Brooklyn will eat that and I'll eat that too, Lauren will too. So I'm gonna heat that up. And then let me show this. And then I grabbed out, um, I made myself a smoothie. And then I also, I have, remember I told you my kids are all like on popsicle smoothie overload, they don't want it anymore. And so, but if I put it back into a smoothie form, they will drink it. So what I did is I set the remainder out on my counter, let it thaw for a little bit so it can come out of the cups easily. And I'm gonna put it back in the blender with some more bananas, frozen bananas, just to give it a little bit more flavor. And then they'll drink that this morning for a snack. I pull out pumpkin bread that I had in my refrigerator just so it gets eaten up today. So gathering those fragments, doing that. So that'll just kind of sit out and people can munch and eat as they please. So this is done, dishes. I'll let somebody else put that away. Jaden probably put that away. And then um, I'm gonna move to my dining room and then I'm gonna sweep. And that's gonna be it for cleanup and then I'll start on my food. So we're gonna keep moving, got kids breakfast. I'm just gonna keep them rolling. Okay, I got my paperwork down on my laptop that I want to do, put my planner away. Left my laptop, laptop there, you'd normally be over there at my desk, but since we are in construction mode, I'm just gonna sit here and do it, it's just a little bit easier. So I just revamped smoothie, smoothie pops, I put them all in here, put some bananas in there, a little bit more strawberries, just to, to liven it up a little bit. Kids will have this for snack with some pumpkin bread, and that'll work. We are going to sweep, I'm gonna wipe the floors again. Pointless, but I'm going to do it because I don't like dirty floors and my feet are dirty. So we're gonna get that done and then life's gonna keep moving. Okay, doing this floor just makes me know how great it's gonna be when I can do all of it. Awesome sweep up, super easy.
Okay, so we got all of our school done, everything's finished. So now um, the kids are taking a break playing some games and I'm gonna mix up two recipes that I know of right now. One was college chicken chili. This was from Jennifer Hammond. She gave me her original recipe. I had to do with what I had. Hers was canned pinto beans, canned kidney beans, can of ranch style beans, black beans, rotel tomatoes, and chili, and canned cream corn, cooked chicken, packet of ranch, and packet of taco seasons. She said, dump in and let simmer. We eat it with cheese, sour cream, and Fritos. It's so simple and won the chili cook off at our church for three years running. So I have to do a little bit of modification because it's all I have. So what I'm gonna do, I have chicken that we had in the pressure cooker, so I'm gonna put that in. I have whole corn I'm gonna put in. I have just plain old diced tomatoes, but I do have green chili, so I'm gonna put that in. I have some chili beans. I'm gonna do two chili beans actually because I don't have any ranch style potatoes and pinto beans. Basically what I do for my taco chili, ranch powder and taco seasoning. I'm gonna put it in a bag because I'm not having that tonight and then I can just dump it in the pressure cooker when we do eat it. Okay, I was going through to figure out what dinners I'm gonna do, so I'm gonna do that. Today we're gonna have this pork, I'm gonna do a pork chop dinner. Someone gave me pork chop with um, cream of chicken and a ranch pack and put potatoes on it. I'm gonna do a little bit different because I have cream of mushroom and I also have some Parmesan Caesar. So I'm gonna use those two with pork chops and um, red potatoes that I have over there. I'm gonna put that in my pressure cooker and cook that for dinner tonight. And then um, tomorrow we'll do the chicken chili college one and then the next day we'll do hamburgers in the grill with those seasoned fries so that'll give me three days worth of meals and that'll be good so okay I'm gonna mix up my um the pork chop one somebody gave it to me it'll be a great thing to make so I have my butcher box pork remember they sent me that box too what is butcher box remember butcher box I got that big box of food delivered to my home remember it's high quality meat delivered to your door easy and convenient because who wants to go to the store touch the disgusting meat and have to worry about it coming here, right? So it just you can just have it delivered. It comes in the mail. How awesome. Frozen or partially thawed a little bit, but then just stick it back in the freezer. So it's got humanely raised, 100% grass-fed beef, free-range organic chicken, heritage breed pork, and wild-caught Alaskan sockeye salmon, all free of antibiotics and added hormones. Pretty cool, huh? Okay, so right now Butcher Blocks has, if you sign up from now until September 30th, they, every new member gets two pounds of ground beef in every box for the lifetime of your subscription. And their beef is really good. We've already eaten all the beef up because it was that good. And their beef is 100% grass fed, grass finished, and raised free from antibiotics and added hormones. Also humanely raised and certified pasture raised. Pretty cool. So if you guys want to get one, I have, they've got my stuff. I'm still eating the chicken pork we've eaten all the beef so I still have a lot I still know actually no I still have all the steaks and that still yet so this will just be a meal for you guys so if you guys want one go look in the link in the description below and you can sign up for the butcher box you can choose your own box that you want you can pick like whatever those will surprise you with stuff price is very reasonable to have it delivered right to your door and not have to worry about picking it up at the store so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take I've got four of these and I'm gonna stick them in my pressure cooker here and then put on my sauces
Okay, so I got all my pork chops in here cooking. So this is good. So this will be good for tonight. I don't do anything. Tomorrow's gonna be the simple chili thing and then we'll have burgers. So this is an easy food prep meal day. Not a whole lot going on, so it's good. So if you guys remember, if you guys wanna get a butcher box um, sent to your home, if you sign up right now, you get free two pounds for life. Every order you get, they give you two pounds of ground beef and it's the grass fed, no, I'm sorry. Yes, grass fed, grass finished and raised from free from antibiotics and added hormones. It's also humanely raised and certified pasture raised. So really good meat. When I cook mine, like, like I just get it from the store, the other stuff, and there's so much extra water and so much more grease. When I cook that, it's like there was a very minor at the bottom. It's like there was nothing but just like a tiny little bit when I put it in containers. You can't even see like that little line of, you know, fat or water in there. So very good. You want some good quality meat? Get it delivered to your door. Super, super simple. Great reviews. You go on it and Google and just search out Butcher Box. They'll have great reviews on everything. So we really like it for our family. So go check them out if you guys want to get one. I'll put the link in the description below. Just click on it. It'll take you right to it. It's going to be two pounds free. So awesome. Okay, so this is going to be done here. I'm going to go check on kids and see what else we have to do today. Okay, I just came outside because you always need a break when you're inside. Jade and I are doing math. It's so much fun doing math. <laughs> I like math, but you know how math is fun for when you're a teenager. So look at how nice. Oh, it is blue sky, a little cloudy. Gorgeous, and it's so warm. So I'm thinking that we're gonna go to the pool now. Well, soon now. I'm waiting for my my um, the pork meal there to pre pressurize, and then I'll be like, okay, we can go, so it'll be safe. So I'm excited. We're gonna get out the door here. Go swim while it's so nice and hot. It'll be a great day. There's a little bit of a breeze, so it'll be like the perfect day ever. So I'm gonna go do that. I'm gonna see kitty cats. Let's see kitties. And look at it. It's Mr. Fluffy. Oh, Fluffy, how are you? It's a, it's a nice breezy day up here in the mountain. And there's Patches. Patches. That's Autumn's favorite kitty. Yes, aren't you a pretty handsome kitty? And there's the Chi Chi. Because she's going to meow. Are you the prettiest kitty? Oh, you're not even going to meow at me. Oh, it's so nice, nice and breezy. It's so nice up here. It's like a little bit cooler up at the top of the house here, which is great, so. It's like the perfect day. Perfect day to go swim. So we need to go swim. Yes, we're gonna go do that. All right, so we are gonna go swimming. Just the three kids and I are. We're gonna be hopeful. There's a huge storm coming, but it might not be at the pool, so we're gonna see, right? We're gonna find Jane's not gonna come, it's just us. So we're gonna go see. Okay, my husband sent me a text. He's like, honey, it's a bad storm coming. I'm like, what? I'm like, it's gonna be fine. So keep getting my notices for flat our weather in the town next to us where we're going. And so we decided to jump in the car and drive. Well, guess what? It was storming over there. So it is slowly coming this way. So it's just, it's nice here, but this way is all storming. So we are hoping for the storm to come quickly through here. After it does, then we'll go. Kids are like, oh, so disappointed. I'm like, hey, I love the pool just as much as you do. So, can you hear the thunder? There's the thunder. So, so we'll just wait for the storm to pass and then we'll head out to the pool. But meanwhile, I get to check my um, my pork chops cooking there. So I'm gonna, they're all done. So I'm just gonna take them out here and I'll go see. I'll let the pressure. I'm gonna let it naturally release and then it'll keep it a little bit more tender. So it'll be good. So I'm gonna go check that now. Oh, that is good. Wow, that's really good. Oh, that is so good. Tastes like Parmesan. So I always poke some about the meat, so I'm just gonna poke down to the bottom some more. There's another piece of pork right here. Okay, very good. I'm just gonna let this sit and put the lid back on it. Let it stay warm. That's delicious, that's been good for dinner. So since that's all cooking and tastes delicious, it's like a nice Parmesan-y flavor. So I have a whole thing of rice here, so I'm gonna put this in my glass bowl put it in the microwave and then they can have the pork chop with like a gravy over rice basically with potatoes that'll be really good so easy and I'm thinking corn on the cob I've got corn on the cob in the freezer let me go get some of that and we'll put some in a pan all that pots are used I'll use a small one it'll be good Okay, we might not have pool right now, but we have something even better. Look what we got for you today. 
guys. Evan! For those of you that do not know, Evan worked at a camp this summer and he was in the bakery. Yes. So today he's like, he was doing outside work today, power washing the house, all kinds of things like that, and then started storming. So he's like, hmm, I'm inside now. So even if it stops storming, he's still gonna have a wet yard to not cut the grass and everything else. So he is gonna make some cookies. And I'm like, Evan, why don't I record you making cookies? <laughs> and he's like, sure. So I will read the recipe to you because this is not a recipe that I ever make, but this is from um, Camp Greystone. So what you do is you take, so get your pens and pencils ready, pens and pencils and papers ready, ready? It's two cups plus two tablespoons of, they use King Arthur all-purpose flour, a half a tablespoon of baking soda, three-quarter tablespoon of salt, one and a half sticks of butter browned, one cup of packed brown sugar, a half a cup of granulated sugar, one large egg plus one egg yolk, two tablespoons of vanilla extract, and one cup of semi-sweet chocolate chips. So he is going to um, make this. Basically, you um, heat the butter and cook it till it's brown. I've never done that before, so that's interesting. Remove it and then let it cool while you prep the rest of everything. Then you basically um, sift your flour ingredients together, cream your butters and sugars, put the eggs in, the vanilla. Yep, and then add the dry ingredients. And make a cookie scoop. So Evan is going to make delicious chocolate chips. How many is this going to make? Uh, it should make between 46 Eight. to 48. Wait, no, this is going to be small. 18 cookies. Oh, 18? going to make about 18 cookies, so. Oh, okay. Oh. That'll be good. Just enough for us to all have one cookie. Okay. Two cookies. Depends on who's eating. This is going to be delicious. So, Evan, enjoy him. Evan's handiwork doing chocolate chip cookies. Yeah, yeah Evan's um, baker, chef. Baker. Better get. All right, good job. Sorry, it does make 28 cookies. I was reading in there whether the larger cookies or small cookies. So it says it yields 28 cookies with a cookie scooper. That's what we have. So sorry, I was reading it wrong. He's like, are you sure, Mom? I'm like, yeah, that's what it says. We just read it correctly. So he's going to make some. Here he goes. Okay, Evan has just mixed up his batch, first batch at home cookies. Doing fantastic. Thanks. They look really good. So he did, it was, uh, he's used to making it literally, he was like, well, don't I have to add all these eggs? Because at Greystone, mm -hmm. he had to do the entire thing of eggs. Yeah. I'm like, oh no, it's just. these huge batches. I'm, I'm like, just so used to it. I'm like, it's just one egg. He's like, one egg? I'm like, yeah, one egg. <laughs> <laughs> but they look really, really good there. And the oven here is almost done. Yeah, almost done. Oh, it's done, 58 seconds. So he's gonna do the next little batch. Oh, I'll have some homemade chocolate chip cookies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Evan today. And look, the storm's done, Evan. Oh, nice. Perfect timing for me to go to the pool. Great. <laughs> it's like, yeah, so good, Mom. So he's gonna make these. Here's Evan's cookies looking perfect, like perfection. It looks so good. So these are cooking. Look how great they look. I'm gonna leave because I'm gonna take the kids to the pool now. But I wanted to show you this wonderful outcome of cookies. Evan, fantastic job, Evan. <laughs> now you gotta taste them and make sure they're good. Look at that cookie. Look at it. It's like perfection chocolate chip cookie. What's the back look like? Look at that, Evan. Now taste it, that's the key. Uh, do it, Evan. Right. Evan, do it, I won't even record you, record it. I wanna put your face in there just in case it's gross. <laughs> Super soft. Evan, what do you think? Mm. Fail or good? I think you did good. That's not bad. I think you did good, it looks delicious. Yeah. Evan, good job, Evan. Whoops. We're gonna go celebrate going to the pool. Yeah. <laughs> Very good. All right, we are at attempt number two to go to the pool. You guys ready? Yes. Attempt number two. This time I remember to bring Ken. And Ken's coming. Cool. Oh, there's Ruby. Good. Yes, we brought Ken to the pool, so. Okay, let's go. 
Look at where the oh my lips at the higher. pool. Look at after a rainstorm. There's no, I, know, I was the first to jump in. There's nobody here. It's so beautiful. Sun is out, blue sky. We're gonna enjoy some swimming before anybody comes. Okay, kids are swimming and having a fun time. They're throwing these. Look what Lauren got us. Well, they're actually Lauren's for her kids. We're all supposed to get on the way. Oh. Very fun. I'm watching it. And Lauren does nannying, and so she has like her car. Oh, okay, hold on. Look at whale. I like that's the whale from Lauren too. Good job, Stephen. Good job. I actually touched the ground. You did good. Lauren has um, her kids that she nannies and she has all these fun things in her car. So now that it's end of summer for her, she's like, oh, do you want all my fun stuff? So I'm like, yeah, I want all your fun stuff. We're gonna have to modify our, our pool list if we're gonna be coming to the pool from now on. So Maddie says hi. She says, Tom, I said hi. 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 Where I'm throwing these big jellyfish There's so much on the fun. water museum and have to try to get them. So much fun. You guys are doing great. Oh, there you go. Go get them. You have to get more. Go. But I can't swim that far. You're not, okay. I'm, just, I'm a beginner. You're a, I'm a beginner. You are a beginner swimmer. You're doing great though. Very good. You're doing really good. You're doing good, guys. So fun. So they're doing great. What a good time. I'm glad we got you to come out to swim for a little bit. Oh, I hear thunder. Hopefully far away thunder. Maybe it's a truck. So we're gonna just enjoy the pool here. I'm gonna enjoy some sunshine for a little bit. This is my little bit of Amy regroup for the day. And then um, we'll go home and have dinner, have some Evan's good cookies, and just chill. Just easy, easy days. We're just gonna enjoy sitting here, enjoying the pool today. Kids are loving it. We're just gonna suck up some sunshine and some swim time all by ourselves. Okay, Jen. Okay, what a great swim. Like nobody here, right, guys? Nope. Nice. No sunshine though. Just so like we like it. Just like <laughs> Stephen would like his own no private people. pool. No people. We like no people. We like people. But he likes a big pool to swim too, so that's worked out really good. So there's just no sunshine. I would love no some sunshine. sunshine. So I told the kids. I think Bye. this whole week is supposed to be a little bit like what it did today, which is basically rain from two to three or four in the afternoon. So I said tomorrow we need to get out the door after breakfast. I don't know if we can handle that. Yes, I can. I can. Do you think we can no get out the door and be here by 11? I mean, that's like way after breakfast, it's almost for lunch. So we're gonna try that tomorrow. Oh, put that, no, put that down. Put that down. So we're gonna try tomorrow to be here at 11. I don't know if we can do it or not, but I'm thinking, no, no, please don't do that. Please don't do that. Stephen, Bob. Oh, come back. 
So we're gonna try to be here at 11 tomorrow because then we're gonna get that sunshine. If it is, we're gonna look at the weather beforehand, but it's been nice swimming. I swam some, did some little laps, did some exercises in the water, all good important things for our mommy. Just those little changes, remember? Just a little bit of exercise. So. Here at least you don't sweat, a little squid. How fun is that? Then we get to go home and have Evan's cookies he made. Evan made chocolate, Evan made chocolate chip cookies. Yummy, I love chocolate How fun chips. is that? So, especially chocolate chips. Especially chocolate chips. So we're, we're yeah. doing good. So we're getting in. Oh, I hear cars. I thought it was thunder, but it's just people. It's good. So we'll go home. I think we've only been here less than an hour. It's like an hour time you got good swimming. If there's no real big hot sun, it's kind of like, okay, getting chilly, time to go home. So we'll go home, we'll have, who's pinching me? Somebody's pinching me. We'll go home, we'll get dinner, we'll take out the pork chops and the potatoes and corn, and then we'll have some rice, and we'll eat that for a That'll be good, so. Camera battery's getting low, so I'll probably stop. Film the rest of the kids swimming, it's good. Good exercise, I'll be sad when this is done. I think we only have a few more weeks and then it'll be done, so. It is the time for school and going to the park, so that'd be good too. My good. I can't reach that far. Here, what? I can see the kids in the camera. I can't actually have to turn around and see them. It's not four feet. Yeah, it is. Four feet. It's all good. Oh my goodness, Park Collins today. Guess what happened to Colin today? He was going out to his car. He was like a, what does he have? A fire, he calls it a fire chicken? Fire bird, right? And he, um, it's been parked by the side of the mountain for, I don't know, a few weeks now. He hasn't gone to it. Well, he stepped over by the driver's side door and there was like a hornet's nest or a bee's nest. Yeah. Michael, you go going now? In a minute, yep. And he got stung Stand. so bad. His car was running. So he, he was needing to go shut up while well, the, the driver's, the passenger side door was locked. So he couldn't get to the side. I'm like, poor Colin. So he had to brave it and go back over there. He like lost his glasses. I mean, he found them, but I was like, oh my goodness. So, uh, that was bad. So he just got water. all over the place too. I'm like, Let's Colin, it's so underwater. bad. So hopefully he went to the shop and did some work over there. So we're gonna go. I was like, that's so bad. All right, Kim Reddy's gonna die. So we're gonna go. I'll go under. Probably go home here soon in a few minutes. The next clip you see will be us getting dinner at home, which would be good. A good little night. Good. This is perfect. This is what I like to do with the kids. Let's this is our three. happy place, just pool, Come up here. swim, here get some energy out of them so that they're tired tonight for a little bit because otherwise they're so wild. Got to get those babies Let's out, Mama. I need no, babies are big kids. Hi, Maddie. Hi. Let's see. I Maddie's on the dolphin. Or is that what it is, dolphin? It's a shark. It's a shark. So because a dolphin sorry. has a hole in the tank. Oh, you're so smart. Oh, don't slice the camera. It has a I see. A so fun. Get for more. All her fun stuff. Two. Okay, camera's gonna die. See One. it? It it's gonna die. Camera, shut up. Okay, we made it right before it stormed. It started to sprinkle right now. I can hear it. Hear it? Yeah. Here it comes. Okay, we made it. Perfect time. Good job, kids. Oh, go ahead and open it. Go ahead and open it and shut it. There we go. We made it. Okay, we're gonna go head home. Okay, we're home. All showered. Everybody's done. Kids already ate. I got their food real quick. Hold on. Get my salt and pepper out. Um, kids already ate, which was. I came home real quick and had to tend to the other children that were not feeling well before. They're getting better, thank goodness. So this turned out so good. I'm gonna scoop me out a piece of pork chop too. Cause I'll actually eat a pork chop too. So that with a couple potatoes and then um, some corn to cob. And I did open some canned peach. So delicious. Maxine is licking my foot right now. Is there something on my foot, Maxine? She's like, yeah, let me lick your food. So I'm gonna get me some dinner here, show you what delicious food I got. So what a good day. Sun's all coming out now. Now it's all done raining, we're all done and changed, not going to the pool anymore. <laughs> Sadly. That's how that works, but that's okay. We'll take what we can do. So that, let me get some rice. Okay, this is looking delicious. Let me show you. Let me show you how yummy this looks. No, I think it looks yummy. Wash my hands. Real okay. Okay. I don't know how you do that, Manny. All right, here's dinner. Look at that. So we've got potatoes. There's the pork chop. Rice and corn, really, really good. So I am gonna go eat this. Lauren just walked to the door. Go talk to the kids, see how everybody's doing. All that good things with life. Look at Evan's cookies are getting eaten. These were so, so good. He did a great job on those. There's a kitty. Hello, kitty. I am loving the lazy kitty life. How about you two? How is the lazy kitty life? Is it good? Just chilling. 
Ruby, loving life. You loving life. All right, well, what a good day. I'm all, I got my, my jammy shirt on, my mama runs on coffee and she's just, I like it. So what a good day. So we were just chilling. We came home, we ate our food. It was really, really good. Like I like good pork chops. I'm not big on like eating pork, but a good pork chop, oh yeah, that was so, so good. So had that, we just sat, Lauren came home, we talked to her for a little bit, and then um, that's it. Talked to my husband, and just an easy night. Had Evan's cookies, those are really, really good. Good job, Evan. Thank you, Greystone, for teaching him how to bake cookies. <laughs> so I think that we're just gonna call this video ending. And then I'm gonna work on it a little bit, and then uh, that's it. Super easy. So hopefully you enjoyed it with the um, the what was it? Pork chop, ranch powder, cream of mushroom soup. I used the the Parmesan cheese dressing. Is that what it was? Parmesan Caesar dressing. That was really. It's just the potatoes tasted so like real Parmesan cheese. It was really good. And then tomorrow we'll make the um, cowboy chili. Is that what it's called? Yes. So I have two meals and then burgers. That was my easy gather up your fragment meal this week. <laughs> Sorry, not that exciting. Sometimes it is, sometimes it is. <laughs> so it's good. So we have that and then what else? And that's it. So butcher box. Remember butcher box. You get, if you sign up, you get two free pounds of hamburger for life. How awesome is that? Great thing. Have it delivered to your house. Delivery guy shows up, brings it to your door. Don't even have to go to the store for it. I'm loving the whole grocery thing. Like even our Walmart was having grocery delivery. I was so excited that I was like, ooh, I signed right up, but they don't deliver to my house. <laughs> We're too far out in the middle of nowhere, so that's okay. So anything delivered to your house makes life easier. All those good things. So, all right, so you guys have a fantastic, fantastic day. I'm gonna go in and finish this video, editing it, and then I'm gonna go to bed tonight. I'm gonna get to bed early tonight. I think that's a good thing to do. Always good to hit bed early. So you guys have a great day, and we will see you guys again tomorrow. Okay, bye.